all right guys new leds and it's not gonna be for any of the mustangs it's actually gonna be for my sister's Sentra. it kind of sucks like i said in my previous video some things you do to your vehicle at all is upgrade leds and it sucks that her car is a 2016 2015 and it still has those uh, yellow halogen lights and it's weird because she has those white daytime running lights and then you have the yellow it looks kind of weird kind of makes the car look old but i'm gonna take care of it today put these on there and see how it comes out under the hood we do have a quad turbo yeah not twin this is a quad turbo four cylinder nissan this thing's better than the freaking gtr it beats it by like two car lengths guys it's fully decked out she goes to a lot of car shows this is why it's like she likes to keep the natural look as y'all can see nah just kidding guys um like i said i do have leds right here i honestly don't know what tools i need hopefully it's just the plug and play just simple remove and plug in and hopefully it turns out pretty good and look at that difference guys i don't know if y'all can tell but it looks like 10 times better all right guys i'm actually done now with my sister's central over there it was a success i had to take off uh that radiator cover which in the driver's side which is pretty much on any car that driver's side uh, light is usually the hardest one i was able to do it it looks really good i did use 6k lights on it and it looks remarkable night and day difference but onto the topic of the video guys i do want to discuss the top things that i do regret doing to my mustang or i would have rather do a, done a different route and right off the bat guys the most noticeable thing that you see wrong with my car is right here uh, you can see the wraps are falling apart um you can see it's already started to fade here um i did pay a hundred dollars for this this is american muscle roof wrap and now that i think about it about it i could have probably paid somebody about 120 for a roof wrap job and it would have been way better material i did do it myself it was easy it's it's not a, a wrap uh, style it's more of that soap and water vinyl decal which i guess it's why it's a little bit cheaper material but i would have gone another route maybe try doing it myself it did last me about three to four years guys which honestly it's not bad maybe it's just that the roof uh, wrap already went bad after so long i do live in texas and the summer heats go around to 115 so might be why it got destroyed pretty bad but it is falling apart but that's one thing i would have still rather done a different way number two guys the second thing that i do regret doing is going with sr performance springs uh there's nothing wrong with them I'm, I'm okay with the ride quality and stuff but that little gap right there i would have rather gone with h and r super sport springs and i did get these springs early on when i barely started mining the car but the h and r super sport springs i came across them probably like about a, a year or two later after this and it does drop the car significantly but i think it was 2.5 2.8 inches in the rear which will totally eliminate all that rear and will give me a way better stance but again i'm okay with it so far right now the stance is pretty good it's not bad it does look like it's lowered but i would want a little bit lower uh, look to it uh, it is a little bit more expensive than the regular sr springs i believe sr is about 130 and the h and r super sports are like 280 so i mean obviously it's a way better brand because h and r super sports are meant for the track so if that's something you're into other than just the appearance h and r super sports are for you all right guys the third thing is these raxium headlights don't get me wrong and with a lot of these things i mean they're all good it's just that there could have been a other one well, sorry for the wind there could have been a better route to go with and it would have been probably getting some different headlights or maybe the 13 to 14 headlights and done a conversion but what's wrong with these headlights don't get me wrong again they look super badass super sleek they have the halo light the daytime running lights super nice gives me that uh smoked appearance in the front but visibility wise guys they completely suck i give them five thumbs down like it's really really bad i've already upgraded to hids leds i bought high quality leds still i the visibility is real poor with the raxium headlights um if you guys have them i'm pretty sure you guys can relate i have asked some other people through instagram that have the same headlights and they do agree with me i've asked what headlights they've used and they're like it doesn't really matter visibility still sucks um and usually that's why uh they go they run different lights like fog lights or something else because it helps them out but as y'all know mine's a v6 swap i just barely installed the gtcs fog lights down here i've yet to hook them up i'm gonna pay one of my friends to do it but uh because i'm not really too fond with working with uh electricity and all those wires and stuff but hopefully that helps out a lot i already got 6k led i believe somewhere around there i already forgot what i have installed on these but they're from op 7 they did uh help visibility just a bit better than like uh, using halogens or something else but op 7 is pretty good guys when it comes to i guess the power and the how much light they project through the headlight 
but yeah guys that's one thing i do regret that i would have rather gone a different route for number four guys we're actually going to go inside my car and one thing i do regret is something i did have and i did have um racing seats right here guys and i do regret selling those uh just because they did look real badass gave the car a different look you could people would look in they'll, they'll be like oh it's not a regular stock complete mustang it has racing seats and at the time i had brahm racing seats when they had just come out so i was like one of the few that owned them and uh, i sold them for other personal reasons i needed the money at the time and i ended up uh, getting some stock black seats in return so i would want the racing bucket seats again in my car i don't care if it's brahm or corbo whoever uh, just a different style of seats would be nice the last thing guys that i'm going to be talking about is i do getting this thing right here it's awesome i actually like it a lot it's better it's a way better upgrade from the stock radio especially of a base mustang but when i did buy this and this i got it for 800 dollars, guys when i did buy this um about two three months later they released gen 2 and gen 2 did uh does come with car uh, apple carplay i have an iphone so i mean it's almost the same it's pretty much the same thing as gen 1 but i would prefer to have the what's it called the apple carplay guys it does make a difference i mean again this radio is awesome if you have it or if you look into it i do recommend it but obviously for gen 2 and you can see right here it says apple link with the update uh it does give me the option right there the little icon but i can't click it uh so that's something i probably one of the things i regret the most is that because i would want to have apple carplay in my mustang it would just make things so much easier it's a way different design it actually looks it actually makes the car, the radio seem like it costs about twelve hundred dollars fifteen hundred dollars just with that display from apple carplay it does show your text messages although this one has navigation the apple carplay navigation is a lot better um, just all in all guys you have an iphone i do recommend this radio right here this is by navos i did get it off of american muscle but if i would have gone the other way obviously i would have waited a few more months and it's actually for the same price guys that's what sucks the most i spent 800 dollars two months later this the new one comes out for 800 dollars. it's like crap man i messaged them and they told me there's nothing you can do like sorry either sell sell that one or just buy a new one i was like oh well thanks yeah i'm gonna go spit out another 800 bucks i guess no nah, I'm, I'm not gonna do that Unless somebody gives me a, a good deal on this that they're willing to pay, maybe I sell it for about 500 bucks. If someone's out there wants to look into this one, I would sell it. I hear somebody revving. Oh, never mind. That's my friend, Boyle. He has a Genesis, uh, real loud, man. I've, if you've seen any of my other videos, he's been uh, maybe in about one or two of them, but super, super loud. He was there revving it. But yeah, guys, those are gonna be the things that I regret the most on my Mustang. Uh, the last thing actually I'm going to talk about is getting a tune. I haven't tuned my car yet. A lot of people say that's one of the first things I should be doing, but I haven't because I'm not done with full bolt-on. I do have uh, everything from the from exhaust, cold air intake, the throttle body. I'm just missing one one or two things guys before I do, uh, I go through the tune route. But if any V6 owners are watching this, um, I've heard a lot of people tell me MPT is the way to go. If you guys want to tell me uh, another brand, another uh, tune that will probably is better than MPT, please let me know. That's gonna wrap it up for today, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I know it's nothing crazy. It's kind of hard to do some crazy car stuff right now with everything that's going on. But I hope you guys are staying safe. I will catch you on the next one. Uh, make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet. Like the video, guys. We're almost to 500 subscribers. I'm at 300 right now, guys. So just keep it up, guys. Thanks for the support. I'll catch you on the next one. God bless.